Is anything guaranteed, God, except exhaustion? When my shoulders are broad, but they're out of proportion, off balance as I try to carry the weight of expectation and distortion, when dancing to keep everyone happy means you miss out on your very own portion. Mate, what's going on? Are you all right? Now I can see the significance of this moment in history. We're being watched by the textbooks of the future, writing out our misery, begrudgingly transposed into words using an unholy trinity of a viral pandemic, racial injustice and economic uncertainty. I am tired. I am not strong and stable. Even though I have faith in a million things for which I am grateful, I can no longer do this alone. It's too painful. Social distancing, 2020. I think it's time to pull the cables. Your show needs to stop with its monotonous voice and its cluttered narratives of racial oppression, mass unemployment, and deadly viruses. I'm done hearing it. Please just give us an alternative. Guys, what's up with you, bro? It's not cool what you did this morning. Now, God, I know you told me to follow your star, to listen to your voice and remember who you are to hear the melodies you play on your guitar, but I've knocked and I've not and heard nothing so far.
700 years before the birth of Christ, the prophet Isaiah wrote, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel said to her, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. You have found favour with God. 
you will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to be registered. So Joseph and Mary went up from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem, the town of David, 
because Joseph belonged to the house and line of David. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, the virgins shall conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, I caught a glimpse of light and I followed its reflection. To find a baby wrapped in borrowed cloth, 
Not exactly my perception of the king on the throne sent to earth for my protection. But through your humble birth comes a shocking revelation that only you can be the answer to my longing for connection. Having knocked on countless doors and been given misinformation, this surprising nature of God is realigning my expectation. Can I erase my workings out and use a different equation? Cause I've forgotten my trigonometry, but I can do some multiplication. Me times you, is that the ultimate combination? But what does your birth really mean for me? Am I not a pair of legs walking from A to B, a melanin-filled man severely lacking in vitamin D, a hollow heart repeating the beats of Sister Lee and diastole, or am I loved, known, cared for, sustained? Does your voice speak louder through these aches and pains? Are you Emmanuel, God with me through the hurricane? But Lord, I have underestimated your genius, your ability to bring my half empty to completeness, the way you can transform my heart and use my weakness, turn my bitter to sweetness, my dirty to cleanness, my troubled mind is still taking its sweet time, yet you're bringing me back to Jesus.
momentous night, my unexpected king. When I struggle to be faithful, I'll come to behold him. Repeating the sound and joy that only he can bring as God imparts to human hearts and I continue to sing. That I will never stop singing your praise. Jesus, the name above every name. The one who draws near to the sick and the lame, Emmanuel. On this holy night, I'll fall on my knees, breathing out my fears and breathing in your peace. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that got you into the Christmas spirit. This was produced by Christchurch London and this year we are supporting two incredible charities that help the lives of young people and the elderly in this city. The Big Kid Foundation are a youth charity that are helping young people, particularly those that are at the risk of social exclusion through mentoring programs and leadership workshops and youth clubs. And the other is the London Cares family who are bringing the elderly and their young professional neighbours together to help alleviate some of the loneliness and isolation of this city. If you'd like to give to these charities and help support us do that, you can go to christchurchlondon.org forward slash Christmas to find out about how to give and also more information on those charities. As a church, we love this city and we meet every week in different parts of the city, from central London to Stockwell to Sutton to Bethnal Green. And you would be very welcome to join us in the new year, either at one of our live services or even online. And if this film has raised any questions for you about life and faith and God, then we run a course called Alpha, which is a brilliant context to explore some of those questions. Our new courses will be kicking off early in the new year, and you can find information on all of that at christchurchlondon.org forward slash Christmas. Have a great Christmas and hope to see you in the new year.